or empowering artists earlier in their career before they've necessarily signed a publishing deal or broken to be able to create small form content on Splice. Hopefully, like you said, pay that mortgage, pay that rent with these little snippets of sound. And then when they go in to get a deal, they don't have to sign like the first thing that comes over them because they need, you know, like I really want to smooth those power dynamics out a bit. Oh. And and I think that's a long term play for us is continuing to, you know, we think about two sides of the artist journey. First, we think about making music. Yeah. And then how do you make it in music? Because and that gets at some point it transitions from am I inspired to try to create? Can I make something I like? Can I make something others get feedback on it? Can I make a dollar? Can I make a career? Can I be a superstar? We right. have to help people along that curve once it gets to that dollar right. or they're going to have to go get a job. So our goal is to raise that curve, make you a lifelong musician. And those power dynamics for those kinds of session musicians that are incredibly talented, we think we can raise the curve there for them by giving well, these, them these in a way, it's what's happened with podcasting and YouTubers as well. And so yep. I had been offered to be a CNBC contributor or other networks as well. And they wanted to pay me, et cetera. Other people wanted me to do reality TV shows. And I did these negotiations and I was like, they're like, yeah, for a network TV show I was going to do with NBC that I did a pilot for, they were like $30,000 an episode. And I was like, my podcast makes 15000 an episode. <laughs> so I'm going to be on network TV and you're going to pay right. me thirty. The show is going to make $5 million an episode and cost $2 million to produce. And my podcast, I make $30,000 a week on. Are you kidding me? Like... This doesn't make any sense. And then you look at the YouTubers, like they, they get cast in some TV show and they get offered 5,000 or 10,000 an episode. And they're like, my YouTube channel makes 100,000 a month. I'm making a million dollars a year. Why would I do that? You can't get those people. And, and I, I think it's really interesting. You're talking about the dynamic. It does yeah. create that floor. It does create that stability for them. But I interrupted you on the race to the bottom. You said you have a content yeah. team that I think is, I'm assuming, listening to that drummer from New Jersey who listens to Liberty DeVito, copies it, and then tries to draft off his pack, which we see in graphic design and stock photography as well. Yeah. Some great photographer or some great designer makes a beautiful logo, and then all these people steal it and adapt, I'll just say charitably adapt it, but we all know what's going on. They're basically mimicking it is a charitable way of saying it, and stealing it would be the uncharitable way of saying it. <laughs> Your group is looking for that, right? Yeah, we're trying. Like, I wouldn't call it like a full... I, I think we do a really great job. I think people are proud of our library. I think we continue to get stricter and stricter about it's like an app store process in a will in a way. Like and uh, it's not yes. perfect, but it's we want things to be we don't want people wasting their time on splice. Like right. I really care that every minute you're spending with us is ex the fastest you can get to getting that sound in your head or that creative thought out into the world. I want to keep we say we're looking our the vision statement for the company is a world of more transcendent musical highs. And there's two sides of that. There's the fans getting the music that they're deeply connected to so spiritually, like, wow, in their best moments and worst moments. But it's really on the creator side about keeping them in their bliss while they're creating. Mm -hmm. And when you're in your flow state, flow state, like when you're in yeah. there, it's the best feeling in the world. And technology and not, not having an idea for a sound and not being able to get to it, these things can break you. At, like Music is complicated, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. It is a hard, audio is a way harder space than anyone realizes. And, and so if we can keep them in their bliss, so that's the moment. So I don't want them wasting a single moment on a bad sound or something they just heard. So when you have somebody just complain, heard. hey, somebody's knocking my stuff off, what do you do? You, you've insinuated, like the app store has to deal with this. Somebody makes angry yeah. birds, somebody makes like perturbed pigs, and it's like, right. oh, okay, we get it. You're trying to steal the idea. But yeah, <laughs> Mark Pink has gotten a lot of troubles with Zynga. He was making yeah. like a mafia game or some other tower defense game, and- I came to his defense on this a little bit, which is like, there are some genres. Somebody makes right, Goodfellas, right. somebody should still be able to make, Scorsese should make Goodfellas after The Godfather, and Sopranos can come after that. But it is a real judgment call, so you've had to make these judgment well, calls. How do you make them? I'm just Yeah, curious. look, I am floored by our content. There are humans on this planet with ears that just blow my mind. Like They can listen to any song and be like, I know where that came from, that came from, that came from. Wow. And what we generally try to do is not shut the artist down if something comes up and just say, hey, we don't think this is original enough. Can you do something else? And they're like, cool, I can do something else. 
So it's more of a collaboration, I would say, of caring about what's good for our users and what we think we'll do better on the platform by working with. And we can't, I don't, we don't do that with everyone, but with the, especially our in-house stuff, with a lot of the higher profile artist work that we do, we really want to make it so that they're showcasing their best talents for our library. How many in-house artists do you have just making samples? That would be like the equivalent of a stock photography company. And I think some of them do this. Yeah. Hiring photographers to work with them full-time, giving them benefits, which is crazy yeah. in the photography industry it doesn't really exist anymore and then just saying go take pictures of san francisco we get requests for the golden yeah, yeah, gate bridge yeah. all the time we need more golden gate bridge so yeah, you it, have a lot of people doing that and at and least how 35 does that at least 35 wow. people making content and cool. and then more supporting the other content creators so like really now we're, we get to do some fun stuff and people's jobs are like go capture the sounds of the world like crazy like, get like a subway train there, like, yeah we have glaciers like the sounds of what it's like walking a glacier and uh, and whale sounds and like things like that. And then also we're going into all these different uh, countries. We went, we went over to Senegal and did a whole set of series of packs with local producers there. And we used the proceeds to build a school. Like it's a real great way to figure out how to bring the sounds of the world to the world appropriately. Yeah. And, uh, and leave the place better than we found it by building a, a healthy relationship around the world. Certainly some of these musicians would say, I would think some high-end musicians would say, I don't want to give my music away royalty-free. Totally. I'm established, et cetera. Yeah. How do you convince people who are on the bubble of that? Like now, if you're a Liberty DeVito, you might be like, eh, yeah. I don't know. But I guess there's an argument if you were high profile that this could be even perceived as marketing. It is. I, and I'm so taking that's... a guess at that. Is that true? Yeah. Do people look, look at it and go... I, you know what, I'm is... Slash, I want to be on Splice, and I want to have a bunch of Slash sa- sounds because it's marketing for me. If people put Slash sounds in their songs, yeah. even if I don't get paid, it builds my profile. Exactly. So I, I won't forget the beginning of the journey when I would show people Splice, and they would be like, there's no way I'm giving you my secret sauce. This is how I yes. make it. But then they would see the other artists on the platform, mm-hmm. and they would see, oh, wow. I remember when someone saw Just Blaze was on the platform, and that was like, oh, if he's on there, maybe I should be on there. And it flipped from like people holding back their secret sauce to that, to being a badge of honor, to Mm -hmm. being on the platform and to inspiring. And you'd be, it'd be amazing because you could be a a leader of a genre. And now all of a sudden, like your genre has blown up because you've provided sounds to help other people create it. And I, I think it really, that flip was really interesting to watch, which was that transition from the no way am I giving my secret sauce to that becoming part of the career development process. How much time and money do you spend integrating a bunch of different software products together at your company? Let me guess, way too much time. Odoo is here to help. Odoo is a suite of business apps that runs your entire company on one platform. They'll streamline your workflow by bringing all of that information together. Plus, Odoo's integrations eliminate repetitive tasks and data entry. If you only need two or three apps to optimize your workflow, that's all you pay for. Odoo won't stick you with the bill for apps you don't use. Odoo has an app for every business need. They offer 30 main apps that are updated regularly and over 16,000 apps from their active open source community. You can keep your books tight with their financial software and their sales and CRM apps will help provide a clear and organized view of your business. So here is your call to action. Your first app is free forever. And right now, Odoo is offering a $1,000 credit on your first implementation pack. That's not a joke. That's $1,000. Just go to odoo.com slash twist to check it out. That's odoo.com slash T-W-I-S-T. Okay. 